Hello everyone, and welcome to another video of Cobalt Orochi unboxes and plays with Japanese children's toys. Uh, today we're going to be unboxing the DX Bandai YSP watch. I've been waiting for this in the mail for so long, it arrives three days late, but it's finally here, so it's okay. So... Before we unbox it, uh, this is going to be like kind of a testing video because there are a couple things I'm going to do with the watch. I'm going to unbox it and review it, of course, and try out some metals that I got in the previous video that I wasn't able to use because uh, I only have the Alien watch. But now I have the YSP watch. We're also going to be updating it and trying out the Viper custom bezel later on. So anyways, uh, let's get into the unboxing. But first, let's look at the package a little bit. So it includes seven metals and the YSP watch. Uh, the seven medals being the Kengo Benimaru and Jiba Jinpei Deluxe Medal, uh, Kengo Benimaru's Henshin Medal, or Transformation Medal, uh, the Kengo Benimaru's uh, Command Medal, which is Akaki Isen, or Crimson Flash, and then it comes with four summoning medals, being Komad Komadillo, or Komadillo, or something in Japanese, uh, and then Medusa, Momo, and then... Uh, this one that, uh, nobody unboxing, no English people unboxing the watch have know the name of that person. Like, all the other unboxings of the watch I've seen, nobody knows the name of that on Rio. Uh, where are my scissors so I can unbox this thing? Alright, uh, disclaimer, be careful with scissors, kids. Alright, yeah, uh, also here's the side of the box. Here's the other side of the box. Here's the bottom. The top. And then the back side of the box for anyone who's interested. But anyways, let's get into this. Alright. I've cut the tape. It's finally time to open this. And I think I opened it from... Nope, I opened it from the right side. Alright, and here are the metals. The five metals. Or, no, these are six of the metals that come in the set. And then the other one, I believe, is in here. Yes, this is just an outer packaging. It's just, this was just a product bundle that they put the YSP watch and they just put some other metals in with it. Um, this is like the third Bandai watch I've gotten. So here's the uh, packaging for the actual YSP watch. <laughs> Instead of the bundle, and this, it shows like what it can do. It's mostly the same stuff that was on the outer packaging, I believe. And on top it says YSP watch. And then the actual watch is right in there. Oh, uh, like, I don't know if it's bigger or smaller than I imagined. I, I don't know. This is my first time ever seeing one in person. But anyways, let's get our scissors out again and finally get this thing opened. I've been yapping too much. I need to actually get into what this video is about. I really like all the packaging that they do for the, that Bandai did for the, this era of Yokai Watch stuff. The Gakuen area, era. Alright, there we go. Uh, there's still more. Hasbro would have just put two bands and call it good. Well, actually, I don't know. The has, the original watch packaging was pretty tough. Oh, is it stuck in there? Okay, no, I got it. Oh, and the packaging. I bent the packaging. Oh, no, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I just want to preserve the packaging a little bit. And it's... Oh, no, it's it's very... All right, here are the instructions, but I'm just going to leave those there because I don't need them. Uh, let me push that out of the way. But here's the watch and the transformation metal for Kingo Binimaru. Oh, it's, it's right here. Oh, more tape. Come on now. All right. Here it is. The Deluxe YSP Watch. In all of its glory. And it still smells like it's fresh out of the Bandai factory. Oh, this thing. Alright, it has no batteries in it, so I'm gonna have to put some batteries in it. Oh. This is incredible. This is what I've been waiting for for so long. And then the strap is all bent, so I'm gonna have to break that in, I guess. 
Uh, but anyways, let's set the watch aside for now and grab the metal, which is on the bottom side, for some reason. And then let's just go ahead and open up the metals. This one being the transformation metal, I know for sure. Here it is, the transformation metal for Kengo Binimaru. And now let's open the other six metals that come in the set. Oh, this, this might take a while, I might speed this up. So these are the seven medals that come in the set. I'll just zoom in on them for you guys. Alright, so we they have four summoning medals, a deluxe medal, a transformation medal, and a command medal. So now that we've looked at the medals, let's actually look at the watch. So it has a nice white, sleek design like the original Hasbro Yokai watch. Or not Hasbro, the original Bandai Yokai watch. Uh... And then there's this black button on the side, which uh, I will get into what that does in a second. And it also has this bezel that can turn to switch the mode of the watch. And there's the on and off switch right there. And then the slot for an SD card so you can update the watch. Now I'm going to put it on and test how comfortable it actually is to wear. Alright, I've now put it on and uh, it's actually pretty comfortable. I haven't put batteries in it yet, so it's probably lighter than it normally would be. But yeah, the wrist strap is actually pretty comfortable. Uh, it's about as thick as the wrist strap on the Yokai Watch Elda, but it's not the exact same wrist, wrist strap. But so it's a different from the Alien Watch. But the Alien Watch was exactly the same as the Elda, so I thought they would have just used the same wrist strap, but I guess I was wrong. All right, great. So yeah, it's pretty comfortable watch to wear. Pretty comfortable, and then. Um, what else was I gonna do? I forgot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. So this bezel can come off, and it can be interchanged with, like, other bezels that Bandai makes, such as the Viper, custom Viper watch bezel. But we'll get more into that in a second. Right now, it's all about the YSP watch, so uh, I gotta put some batteries in it. Uh, I forgot to grab my batteries. I grabbed the SD card, but not the batteries. Alright, so I do believe it takes one AAA battery. I believe, so let me... Hurt. I always don't set anything where I need to set it. So I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew it and put the batteries in. Alright, so it should go in there just like that. And then, oh come on. The alien watch actually came with batteries, so I didn't really have to worry about this, but I do in this video as as I did in the Yokai Watch Elda video. But anyways, now that it has batteries in it, let's go ahead and turn it on. Alright, so when it turns on, it will make that noise and then say a phrase. I don't know exactly what they're saying because uh, I don't speak Japanese, but it was along the lines of, uh, like, what version update you are on. And those are the sounds it makes when you turn it back and forth. So this is the uh, summoning mode, which is basically just the standard mode for the watch. This is the uh, henshin mode, or transformation mode. And then the last mode is the search mode, and this one will make a unique noise when you turn it. And yeah, that's pretty much it from just the base watch itself. But anyways, 
let's try out, let's actually try out a metal with it. So first up, we're going to try out Kengo Binimaru. So you just slide it into the watch just like you would any other. Alright, and it can't go in sideways. Okay, I was wondering if it could or not. So you just put in the watch, put it in the watch. And so after it does that, it'll make this standby noise. And you twist it to the henshin mode. And yeah. So that is the, just the henshin mode. So, and how you get the metals out, because it's not like the other watches where you can just take the metals out. That's actually what this button is for. This button is so you can shoot out the metals. Just like that. And this is going to get really fun. Because you can just shoot them out. And also I heard that if you just hold down the button and then put the metal in, it shoots it pretty far. Oh yeah. That shot it. That actually shot it really far. Anyways, next let's try out the, uh, the command metal in the watch. Oh, I didn't really show that, Ellie. Oh, yeah, so. So, it'll make that noise, and then say the name of the, uh, command metal that you used. And also, I should probably hold it at an angle so you guys can see the LEDs. Oh, I love this watch so much. Alright, we need to turn it back to standard mode for the rest of them. Alright, so, now, let's try out the deluxe metal. So that was the deluxe metal. And now let's try out these summoning metals. Now I believe I should probably cut these because they all just have the same song. They just say a different name. But I don't know if I'll cut it or not. Alright, so that was Momo. Now let's try out Comadillo. Comadillo. Alright, now let's do Medusa. Alright, so that was Medusa. And then we have one last medal that came with the set, being this Onryo that I don't know the name of. Orianome. Alright, so that's the name of it. Orianome. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. So anyways, now that we've gotten that out of the way, uh, there are a couple other medals I'd like to test out that I got in one of the previous videos. Uh, first, I want to test out uh, Deep Shadow Galaxy, because this is like one of my favorite yokai heroes from the anime. Okay, I was expecting this to happen. So basically what it says is that I need to update the watch, which I was expecting to happen. So I'm glad I got to hear that noise. So anyways, uh, now the next thing we're going to do is upgrade the watch. Or update it, I mean. So first thing you want to do is turn off the watch. Or well, uh, first you're going to want to have uh, the SD card actually have the files 
update files for the YSP watch on it, which uh, you can't get on the Bandai website anymore because they nuked it for some reason. But I have all of the files for all the Yokai watches in my Discord server. So if you want to get any of the files for any of the watches, uh, just join my server. There will be a link in the description or the comments or something. All right, so the next thing you're going to do after the watch is turned off is take out this uh, placeholder. If I can... All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to want to take out this placeholder and put in the SD card this way with the uh, chip part facing up. And then you're going to want to turn the watch on. So basically it said to start the update, uh, switch the watch to Henshin mode. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And now we just wait for it to finish updating. And it'll make that noise while it's updating randomly. Which is a bit annoying, but uh, it, it's cool that they just added that as a feature. Okay, so now it's going to start making that noise. I don't know if it's telling me to, to turn it off or not, but I'm just going to wait for it to stop just to make sure. Alright, so it's stopped. So I'm going to assume it's safe to turn it off and take the SD card out. So there was a step on the Elder that you used to update it. So I'm going to try turning it on without the thing in. Okay, so I think... Alright, so I think it's good to go. So I'm just going to turn it off and put the uh, placeholder back in to the watch. And yeah, that was updating the... YSP watch in case anyone was interested in updating your own. So now let's try out a couple other medals I have, such as the Deep Shadow Galaxy Henshin medal. So let's hear it. Nice, so that was Deep Shadow Galaxy. Alright, there is another type of metal that didn't come in the set, actually. An item metal, so I also want to try out an item metal in the YSP watch. So that was, uh whatever that was i don't know also i just want to try out another deluxe metal just because ranto and deep shadow galaxy deluxe ranto and deep shadow galaxy all right nice that was Ranto and Deep Shadow Galaxy. Alright, now that we've finished updating it and tested out uh, a few of the metals, a few of the sounds that they make, let's test out the DX Viper Connector. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take off the bezel 
for the YSP watch and then put on the bezel for the Viper connector or whatever uh, custom bezel you're using. And But that's not all. You have to have the metal that came with the uh, connector in order to switch it from the YSP to the uh, whatever custom bezel you're using, in my case the Viper watch, and then put it in the watch. Alright, and then after it does that noise, or whatever noise corresponds with uh, your watch, uh, it will be switched over to a different mode. Alright, so it makes pretty much the same noises for switching it. So, let's actually try out the Sky Snaker Yokai Hero Metal to see what if any of the noises change, which they most definitely will have. Are you heavy? And it'll do this noise. I really like the standby noise. So that was Sky Snaker. And also, I just want to try out uh, another one of the deluxe metals to see. Uh, if it is how the deluxe noise sounds, I'm also gonna try out some hinge or some uh, command medals too. Wow. All right, nice. Ranto ando Mr. Shadow. Uh, frick. What am I doing? Alright, let's also try out a command metal and see what the command metal sounds like. Oh wait, it's not a, it's not a command metal, but yeah, that's the it's not a henshin metal. I mean, I don't know how to speak, so that's what the uh, command metals sound like. Oh, I also didn't try out the the mystery metals in the regular watch mode. Uh, well, anyways, I'll I'll get to that after I change it back. So uh, here's a mystery metal and what they sound like. Alright, so that was a mystery metal. So now we're going to change the watch. So to change the watch back to the YSP watch, you're just going to want to simply remove the Viper custom bezel, put the regular bezel back on, and then reinsert the... Well, actually, if you turn off the watch, uh, it'll still remember what mode you had it in. So when you turn it on... It'll remember uh, what mode you had it in. So anyways, to change it back to the YSP watch, just simply reinsert the metal. And now it is the YSP watch again. So this is what the mystery metal sound like in the regular YSP watch. So that was the Gaku and Mafia metal, commit or mystery metal. I do I can't speak, you guys. I I cannot speak. But anyways, there's one more metal I want to try out, being uh, this uh, metal, uh, Komasan and his mom. I still haven't looked up the actual name of this metal, but I have no idea what it's gonna sound like. So anyways, let's just try it out. 
Oh, it's just a regular summoning medal? Huh. Alright. I'm now realizing that I didn't try out summoning medals in the Viper Watch. So, I'm gonna have to do that real quick. Let me just switch it over to the Viper Watch. So, anyways, the summoning song for the Viper Watch sounds just like this. Yeah. So that was the sounds that the Viper Watch makes, and uh, this it sound the 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 sounds that the Viper Watch makes are so good. Like they made it, they just made it all heavy metal, and it works so well. It it just works so well. Uh, but I think that's pretty much everything I want to do. everything I want to do for this video, uh, except there's just one more song I want to hear, the one for Mist Shadow, my first ever, uh, Y metal that I ever got. Mist Shadow. And that was Miss Shadow. Alien Miss Shadow. So yeah, that was my third band I watched that I ever have gotten. Uh, that'll be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, feel free to leave a like and comment. And maybe if you want to see more of my content, subscribe. So that'll be it for this video. Uh, peace out, guys. Peace.